This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We're all very excited about it. Apple plans to build a 30,000 square foot warehouse right in downtown Reno. And surrounding businesses hope it'll trigger redevelopment in that neighborhood. We'll show you more in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 5 o'clock. But not everyone is on board with this warehouse that will be used for shipping and receiving. Good evening, I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for joining us. So the tech giant is buying a vacant lot that covers about a half a block at 5th and Evans, just a few blocks north of Greater Nevada Field. And that is where Paul Nelson joins us live from. And Paul, how could this impact that neighborhood? Well, people around here are hoping that it will clean up the neighborhood land. And now this lot is part of a tourism improvement district, and it's been targeted for redevelopment for years. So business owners around here say that by Apple moving in, it'll serve as a springboard to get new businesses in. She'll be with you in just a few minutes, all right, Thomas? BJ's Hair Shop sits on the northeast end of downtown Reno, right across the street from this lot the future home of Apple's warehouse. We've been wanting something to come into that lot for a long time, and so we're very excited. While this business focuses on cutting hair, Gay says it's the area around her shop that's in need of a makeover, including boarded up motels just down the street. The cleanliness could be a lot better. They've been coming around and removing graffiti, which is terrific. The council's decision that allows for the purchase is not without controversy. Apple's new lot is in the Tourism Improvement District, which means the company will be eligible for millions in tax breaks, and it's doubtful many people will visit the warehouse. And while this is in a Tourism Improvement District, it's not a stretch to say that this is not a tourism facility. It's not open to the public. Correct. Correct. But the mayor says it still serves an important purpose. I drove by that site the other day, and it's, it's blight for sure. And a huge economic driver for tourism is obviously cleaning up light. Gay says she would like to see things like better lighting and an expansion of downtown retail and restaurants in her neighborhood. With the Aces Stadium and everything, they're bringing more events there. Um, so even maybe some sports related shops and things like that would be fun to have down here. It's still too early to tell how Apple will affect downtown, but business owners are hoping for the best. I think it'll be beneficial to everybody in the neighborhood. Apple hopes to begin construction within just a few months, and as we told you yesterday, they're also planning a billion-dollar expansion to their data center just east of Reno. Covering the big story live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.